Right, uh, okay, so moving on to the next uh, shoulder blade issue, we're going to look at a wing. So again, Emma's in a good position, shoulder blade's nice and flat, and we're going to let her to relax and just into a wing position, so just let her shoulders go. And you can see the whole inside baller here has lifted off. So before we had a tilt, it's just the bottom. Now we've got a wing, we've got the whole border has lifted off. And it's an inefficiency of uh, a couple of muscles work together, uh, some upper traps and serratus anterior, which sits underneath and sort of glues the shoulder blade onto our rib cage. Now, there are a number of potential um, injury issues, but actually one I'd like to think about here is performance. Um, if your shoulder is sitting off and not really locked into your rib cage, and you're doing any throwing events or any shoulder events, so swimming, uh, cricket, anything like that, you're gonna get a massive energy leakage because as you go to throw the ball and create power, you want to use your abdominals, which help you fix your shoulder blade in place, which allow you to execute the power through your arm. If your shoulder blade comes off, as you go to execute the power, your shoulder blade's gonna lift and you're gonna lose power, so your performance is gonna be down. So it's a really good performance-related issue that you can address quite easily if we can get some shoulder blade stability in place. So I'll go through a couple of exercises specifically for that later on and make sure we can get that. If we can just come back into that normal position, we can get that to hold in that position there. What you'll see, if Emma just relaxes again, as we wing, as she lifts her arm forwards and she comes to about 90, you'll see that actually it starts to come into a better position, come all the way up. Okay, so it all looks very good there, good normal position, and as she comes back down, hold, it all still looking good, and then the last bit, you'll see that shoulder blade will come back out again, as she, and then relax your arm again, and then it pops right off. So we want to make sure that these can affect day-to-day -day movements as well as your performance. It's a really important area to address.